Hello, I'm Sue Shapcott and today we're going to talk about strategy. I'm going to go over the four biggest mistakes I see golfers make on the golf course. Okay, so strategy number one. I have a shot that's about 100 yards from the green. To get there, I have to go over a bunker but under a tree. The chances of me pulling that off are really, really slim. Added to that, I've got wet grass and I've got wet long grass. So I'm really limited in terms of uh, the shots that are gonna get me on the green. So your number one takeaway is don't even try. So if I play a shot that goes over the bunker, under the tree, roll up, stay on the green, I would say I'm gonna pull that off maybe once every 500 shots. So I'm gonna play the, play the odds and instead I've got an easy punch shot out to the left there that's gonna leave me with a shot of less than 100 yards to the green. So from there, I've got a much better chance of getting the ball up and down in two than by risking a disaster by trying to go over a bunker and under a tree. So lesson number one is take your medicine, get the ball back into play so that you can then move forward on the hole from there. Okay, so this is the front of a par three. We have a, a stream running down here. We have a bunker on the right. We have a bunker on the left. And at the back of the green, there isn't much other than a little bit of undulation. Now, this is a very typical layout for a par three where the trouble is at the front. Now, if you have a look at the shot patterns of most golfers, when they miss the green, then they do miss it on the short side. So on par threes, especially where the trouble is loaded front of the green, then you really need to be conscious of aiming at the back of the green. You need to make sure that you take out this front area of a par three. So on this hole, the yardage is about 150. Um, typically I hit a six iron about 150, but on this hole, I'm gonna give myself the distance of 160 because that's how far I want my ball to go. I want the ball to finish at the back of the green. And the other consideration, of course, is not only the total distance of the hole, but how far you need to carry the ball. So you really need to um, up your club on par threes to make sure that you get over the trouble and get the ball to the back of the green. It's gonna save you shots and it's gonna take out some of this trouble at the front. Okay, the next strategic mistake that I see is people taking too little loft when their ball is sitting down in the rough. So this rough right here is long and it's wet. Now, when the grass is long and wet, it means that as you swing, the club is gonna get caught up in the grass. It's gonna turn the club head down and deal off the club. So you need to start off with more loft than you think you need. So you shouldn't be going for distance in this instance. You should be going to get the ball back in play. I'm just trying to move the ball down the fairway so that I can decrease the chances of having a really big uh, number on this hole. Now, what I see is people seeing their ball in the rough, seeing they've got a long distance to the green and getting their fairway wood out. Now, a fairway wood may only have 15 or 16 degrees of loft on it. Now, when you swing it in rough like this, it's going to get caught up in the rough. That number is going to turn down to probably 9 or 10 degrees of loft, and the ball is just going to get caught up in the grass as it tries to fly out. So you need to increase the loft that you have on the club, make sure you get the ball back into play. So maybe even a, a 7 iron or an 8 iron is a much better strategic choice for getting the ball out of this long grass. All of the tips so far have been about taking risk down. Uh, the last tip for you in terms of improving your score with strategy is to be aggressive when you can be aggressive. So just like a race car driver, then they're going to go fast when it's straight and they're going to be strategic when they have to uh, round the bend. You need to apply the same principles to your golf game. So what I mean by that 
is that when you have a chance to get your ball close to the green, you should take it. And that's because we know that golfers are more accurate at getting the ball close to the hole from 20 yards than they are from 120 yards. So even though you may feel comfortable from 120 yards, the data suggests that you're going to get the ball closer to the hole the closer you are to the green. So when you can be aggressive, then take that chance. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope these strategic tips help you improve your score. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for tips to help you improve your game.